What's going on YouTube? This is Long Liver. I'm going to show you today how I connect my cord and it is actually my new favorite method of doing so. Um, you've seen online how you can uh, you know, put these two pieces of cord one inside of the other, melt it down and kind of glue it. Or you know, you can use super glue and glue them together or hot glue or whatever, staple them together, sew them together. But this is actually my, uh, my favorite method of doing so and so I'm going to show you how to do it. Um, take your two pieces of paracord, um, they're just loose ends, choose two of them. You'll need something sharp, you'll need something that you can pinch with, and then you'll need something to make the hole wider. I like to use this for making the hole wider, this for reaching through and grabbing the cord, and that for making the original hole. So take one end of your paracord, make sure that there is no uh, inner strands at this end. Then you're just going to go probably about a quarter of an inch up from the burn and you're just going to put a hole in the cord like so. And again there's no strands in this to get in the way, it's just empty sheath. So now you have a small hole, you're going to take your hole widener and feed the hole widener through the cord, working it up as it gets wider. You want a relatively good sized hole, that way the other cord will fit into it. Like so. Doesn't want to focus, but good enough. Then what you're going to do is you're going to take uh, one of the ends of the green cord, pinch it so it's folded over. And hopefully it's folded over enough and your hole is big enough that you can fit that through, which it's not. So go ahead, try to make it a little bit wider. And then try it again might be able to grab it from there. Or if you need to, put your needle nose pliers in, pull it apart to make it as wide as you can. And it's just trial and error. You gotta keep trying until you get that hole just wide enough that you can fit that other piece of paracord through. If it's still not working, go the opposite direction. There we go. And pull it through. So now what you have is you have the cord running through the other hole, like so. Now what you're going to do is you're going to take and you're going to do the exact same thing with this end of the other cord. Make a hole. Be careful if you're using something that's extremely sharp. Use your widener. Widen it both ways, fold over your other end, alright, so once you get to this point, then you just pull, pull tight, take your lighter, kind of pinch it flat, And there you go. This is extremely, extremely strong. It's basically making it one piece again. Um, so yeah, this is the perfect way to go ahead and connect it. What I like to do is if I'm gonna make like a bracelet, I'll bury it. And so I'll put it like that. If I'm like making a knot and loop closure, and then I'll just go ahead and I'll build my bracelet over it so you can't even see it. And it works absolutely perfect and amazing. And it's the way that I connect my cords anymore. It's the best way to do it. So thanks for watching. Please subscribe. Check out my other videos. Um, and hey, everybody, have a great day.